There's this famous video of me throwing my cap after a game in 2014 when we lost at the Wankhede Stadium. And it's not the first time it's happened to me, but uh, it does happen. Uh, it was the first time it happened publicly. So I think maybe the idea of the, the cred ad really came from scriptwriters watching that, that piece of video and seeing that, that I can get really angry if I need to. Hi, I'm Rahul Dravid and I'm going to be sharing some lessons and insights that I've learned in my cricketing journey with the help of some memories that we have in this box. And in those days, uh, you know, they'd put your photograph and they'd put your name in the paper when you scored 100 and I was very excited. And I wake up next morning and I see they've got my name as uh, Rahul David instead of Rahul Dravid. So, uh, had to laugh, had to smile a bit, but uh, also a good lesson for me to not uh, get too far ahead of myself and realize that maybe I'm not that famous, that people don't really know my name at the moment. They still call me David instead of Dravid. So, good lesson to keep my feet uh, firmly on the ground. So this is a memory from 2011, it's from the Lord's Test Match where I scored 100. A very special day and a very special memory because uh, I, I played my first Test Match in 1996 at Lord's but a little bit disappointed that I could not score the extra 5 runs that were required to, to get a century. Uh, but in 2011 I was able to finally score 100 and have my name up on the honours board. Really nice memory and a really good lesson for me particularly that if you keep working hard and if you keep believing in your dreams somewhere along the line Hopefully they do come true. One loss from which you learnt the most. Okay, put it here. India versus West Indies at Barbados in 1997, an early part of my career. The first time I went to the West Indies, we had a great chance to win a test match. I thought we would easily do it and I expected that we would win. Yeah, I think you can take sometimes take things for granted and you think that, oh, it's only 120 runs and we should easily do this or we should win this. As I learned that day, uh, that uh, the game is never over till it's finally over. Uh, so you have to uh, stay focused right till the end uh, and, and you can never get complacent. Uh, so, so Jammy was a nickname that was uh, given to me by my Karnataka teammates when I first joined the Karnataka team. My father uh, worked at, um, at a factory that made juice and jam and so uh, when they asked me what, do, what does your father do, so I said he makes juice and jam. So, that's where the name Jammy came from and, and, and that's where it stuck. Uh, and uh, yeah, it brings back lovely memories. Ah, this is Mr. Sandeep Patil. Uh, so Sandeep Patil was, was my first coach when I first played for India and made my debut in, in 1996. I wasn't really expecting to play or I wasn't really sure that I was going to be playing. So I just, you know, went about uh, just doing the normal things you would do if you were like the 12th man helping out other people and you know, just trying to support the rest of the teammates. And uh, it was only 10 minutes before the toss that, uh, you know, I, I learned that uh, Sanjay Manjrekar had failed the fitness test and, and I was the one who was uh, going to replace him and I was going to play that, that particular test match. So, yeah, the great thrill of being presented with the India cap, uh, you know, was, uh, was something that was a dream come true for me. First appearance in test cricket with Rabbit. You can never be sure how your opportunity is going to come or, or when your chance will come. But when it does, uh, you know, hopefully you are prepared and hopefully you are ready. And I think that's the only thing in your hand and your control. Okay, tell us a secret about yourself. It's hard to have secrets when you've been in the public space for such a long time. Nothing stresses me out like shopping. Yeah, I've always found that the most stressful thing to do. I, I kept wickets for India in 2002 and 3 and, and really um, the last time I had kept before that was in uh, inter-school final. So it was a long time uh, and it was a big jump from uh, wicket keeping in, to school bowlers to suddenly being keeping to Harbhajan Singh and Anil Kumble. But yeah, it was it was something uh, you know I really enjoyed doing because it just gave me a feeling of contributing to a team in a different way. I was obviously expected to bat and score runs for the team, but here was another skill that I could bring to the team uh, and and hopefully helped us balance the team better. And I think that's really important in any team that you're part of. I think you've got to find ways to contribute to that team. You've got to find ways to do things that are probably not expected of you or that's not your main skill. Uh, and, and if that makes the team better uh, and, and helps you perform better as a group, as a team, uh, then it's a great sacrifice to make and gives you a lot of satisfaction. Ah, okay, okay, this is, this is the email I, I wrote to uh, Kevin Peterson. 
KP. So I think one of the great things of, of, of being able to play the sport is, has been just uh, the ability to learn uh, from so many people. Humility to be able to ask for help. I mean, he's already a great player. And, and just the fact that he's willing uh, to get the best out of himself, you know, he's willing to go to any lens and he'll ask anyone and he'll take advice from anyone to try and get better. So I think when you're also surrounded uh, by, by, by such great players, I think it's a great inspiration. Uh, it wants you, you sort of challenge yourself and, and you want to uh, compete with them, you want to earn their respect. Uh, so I think it, it really sort of inspires you to, to try and do your best. So it's India Under-19 uh, 2018 and um, yeah, some lovely memories of, uh, of, of a team led by Prithvi Shaw. There it is! India lived the Under-19 World Cup. Uh, one of the things I think uh, is, is important when you're coaching a lot of the young people today, you have to create an environment which is a collaborative environment in which uh, you have to recognize that they have incredible knowledge and experience and the whole idea really as a coach is to try and bring that experience and that knowledge to the table. Uh, oh, it's a cap. Rajasthan Royals cap. Not one of my proudest moments, but um, I've, I've always tried to be able to, someone who's, who's tried to be able to manage my emotions or control my emotions. Uh, the thing with international cricket is that uh, there's always a lot of pressure on you. Uh, there's a lot of eyeballs, there's a lot of focus on, on everything you do, all your actions, both on and off the field. I think one of the ways to, to really uh, be your best or to be able to perform at your best really is to be able to maybe, like we say, shut out the noise. A large part of it has come naturally, uh, but a large part of it I've also had to work on. Uh, I realize that, that you know, when I stay calm and when I stay relaxed, uh, I perform at my best. Uh, uh, obviously, this occasion was one of those where I, you know, just lost it and, and I couldn't do that. Uh, but, but that happens and, and it's not the first time it's happened to me, but uh, it does happen. Uh, it was the first time it happened publicly. Uh, the other times it might have happened in the privacy of a dressing room. What is the learning that you carry with yourself, both on and off the field? I think when you look at this timeline, you see obviously some success and, and you also see a lot of failure. I think in life and, and in your journey, you are going to have ups and downs. You're going to have you know, moments of success and, and moments when things don't go your way. Uh, but the real important thing is to, is to keep going forward, is to keep learning from those experiences. You, know, you can't always control the results but you can certainly control uh, you know, your preparation or you can certainly control uh, the way you go about doing things. One thing you'd like to add to this timeline. Got a lot of things on here, struggling for space a bit, so we'll put it here. Take it from here, which was around 2004. Yeah, and that would be uh, captaincy. Uh, so yeah, I think it was a great, great privilege, a great honour to captain your country in, in both one day cricket and in, uh, in test match cricket. So I never, you know, started off thinking that I wanted to be a captain of India, but you know, when you were given that honour and you were given that privilege, then it was, uh, uh, you know, a really lovely thing to do. Something that, uh, that I learned a lot from, you know, I learned a lot from the experience. You know, I've become a better coach because of, uh, because of those experiences. And yeah, so just would, would really like to sign off by saying that I'm very, very grateful. Until next time, thank you.